fry eggplant. She's saying it's unfortunate that she couldn't bring her eggplant. You want to cut it into maybe like one big bite size or maybe two small bite size, okay? Okay. Again, this is a flexibility, right? Because you, you never know how big or small your eggplant is going to be, right? You're going to have to figure it out. And now you're going to quarter each eggplant piece that you're going to cut. You, you, you cut, okay? This is the Asian eggplant, right? So obviously when she's preparing this for the little kids, then she's going to make it a little smaller than that. Now she's going to work on the garnish, quote unquote. As you can see, she's trimming the very minimum, right? <laughs> She's literally leaving this pit, right? Where we're told to remove this from the chef many times, right? We get yelled at sometimes, right? But okay. but when I when I asked the wife how, how come she doesn't move it, right? And then this was her answer. You could eat that. Try to have a no waste, okay? Now we're gonna make the batter, okay? So there's a flour. It's like AP flour today. Just a. Uh, this uh, ganja jambu, right? Yeah, ganja jambu. This potato starch, okay? So you, you put about one to one ratio, okay? And then the salt, the rest of the salt goes in there. So the half of the salt that uh, was given, the half goes into the potato mixture, right? And the half goes in here, okay? So don't forget that, okay? Incorporate the water slowly, little by little. Okay. Okay, don't make it too watery. Okay, so that's why you want to add little by little. It's gonna become like a little bit thinner than your normal pancake batter. Okay, just slightly thinner. Okay. It's a literally basically one to one to one ratio. Okay. Yes, But um, Depends on the days and the moisture in the air, you might have to adjust the w water, right? That's, you guys know. And then, put the eggplant in there. Put the batter on. Okay. It has a starch in it, so it, when you work it, it's going to get thicker and thicker, okay? So, you guys should work it a little faster, okay? And then, keep stirring. Otherwise, there's, even though in batter, the starch will sink. Okay, we're gonna use the chili paste, the chili paste that she brought, okay. These are the seasoning for the glaze, okay. We're gonna mix this in a saute pan. And then we're gonna make it a little warm and then we're gonna glaze the fried eggplant in there, okay. Okay, so you wanna fry them, okay, until they're lightly golden, okay. Because the eggplant is really soft and then while they cook, they're gonna get really soft. So if you overcook it, they're gonna become mush, okay. So. Okay, so while uh, her assistant is gonna finish frying the rest of it, okay, she's gonna show you how to do the seasoning. So on the saute pan, the finishing the frying, okay, we're gonna prepare the um, glaze. First, the rice molasses. This is a Korean green plum extract. This is uh, rice molasses, two tablespoons. So whenever you need the molasses, you're gonna come to the front and then she, she has to like scoop it for you, okay? That's the grated ginger. That's the, the chili paste. Now we're gonna place this on very lower heat. We're gonna put the very lower heat. Because there's a chili paste and molasses, okay? If it's too hot, then it's gonna start burning, okay? So. You just want to loosen up and then just mix everything nicely and then to warm the mixture through. Lower, medium heat, okay? So you don't you don't burn the seasonings, okay? Plant has been fried. So this is the eggplant that so she's going to add the bell peppers first, okay? Just mix it in and then you're going to put the eggplant and then you're going to put nice glaze onto the eggplant mixture, okay? Now we're gonna put a little more heat on it, so so um, you could it could get nice glaze going. Okay, so it looks like done. Okay, so evenly coat it nicely everywhere. This is pretty much done. Okay, now she's just gonna plate. So she wants to put the little sesame seeds first in there, and then she's gonna put more sesame seeds later on. 
many times uh, when we do this at home and things like that, you know, we have a lot of seasoning left of the pan. We, we put a little scoop of rice and then we just mix it. Korean <laughs> style. Every mom does that. <laughs> Every mom. Really, really nice um, refreshingness from the ginger and then literally the freshness from the pepper. That's really nice uh, match together. You, you should eat it together as well, the, the bell peppers and uh, eggplant together. So, she's gonna stop plating here, okay? And then a little more sesame seed on top. Taste this, okay? You know, guys, here's a tasting spoon, so you guys could like get one out and then... It's a little hot, so be careful. I'll give it. Fish.